in uh, in that. <laughs> Hog, day three. One game wheel, please. Oh, wait. Oh, well, can wait. we do some Andarial runs on MVS Sin then? Do Kappa. some Andarial runs? Well, I would if she was quest bugged, but you know. <clears throat> Somebody ruined the quest bugging of my Andarial Sin. Dude, my hands are insanely, like, tired right now. Between Phil and Sick and MVS long days. Yeah. They were... They were long days. <laughs> Don't worry, I wouldn't stream if I was feeling too sick. I feel a little bit better today. I'm still, like, not 100%, but... We got a tick already? No, we got to update our thing. Bro, I can't believe we found Burr Rune. That's so stupid. That was the the most insane thing ever. Uh, there we Join go. My army of the dead. <clears throat> Greetings all. Condolences, Llama. Thank you. <laughs> How do I do the throw barb? Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not a good run. <laughs> it's it's very terrible for sure. My anniversary happens the day after MVS, like some kind of supervillain. But at least it happens in time for the greatest event of all, Sarge. M R L Llama Height. No such thing as Sarge. Thank you, Bixby Owl, DT Pilot, and Pusa Roni. Mwah. He did a great job. It just took a long time. Yeah, it takes a long time. What did we do? We did throw barb through nightmare, right? Ugh. It's awful. Dude, look at my hands. Hold on, can you see it? They're like so beat up, especially this left hand. <laughs> what is this thing on your screen? Building Why calluses, is it so yeah. Small? Why is there only one? Something seems wrong here. <laughs> Maybe you should uninstall and restart your grail. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> you know, the assassin heading into yesterday was two and three. So it still wasn't a guaranteed win by any means. However, <clears throat> I thought surely it would be a close battle, especially with a 24 hour. Mitten and little hand prevents carpal tunnel. That's right. I just need to get my mitten in my little tiny hand with mitt. <laughs> I thought, you know, this will probably be a win for me. Um, but maybe chat can like get me at bail, you know, if there's like five save and quits at like bail, world stone, throw, you know, and we get unlucky and all that stuff. It wasn't even close. We technically got to ancients, but that's only because chat got to sit and watch the time expire for the last 15 minutes as I was so far behind. There could have been another, you know, three hours in the chaos alone if they wanted easily. That was... To, I mean, the, the easiest way to put it in perspective is that the cursor wheel never or the cursors themselves, list, never stopped. There was a queue for literally 24 hours straight. <laughs> hey, Hot Oven Mitts, how you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And SF was extremely generous and loved that cursor wheel. <laughs> Do 
do the source next time. Is that my only chance? A little shadow killer. It's a cool drop. It's still fun to watch. I mean, it was still a great battle despite a lot of the slaughter that was going on, you know. Thanks for the info on the Gillette bits. Yesterday made me slightly regret the Gillette bits info. <laughs> Move some Evo to game wheels. I think I'm going to add no mini map to the game wheel. Like five minutes of no mini map. And I don't know. I think game wheel needs a slight addition to it. Like two things and it'll be good. Two minutes, no TP scrolls. Thought that would be brutal. Cheers, Llama, and congrats, chat. Thank you, Blom. Thank you, Franz. I'm crunchy. Yeah, so I think two two things on that rare Hydra bow. Nice. Oh, we'll put the Shadow Killer over here. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> Five minutes, no looking in inventory. A Settler! Thank you so much. Crash. Mm, who is it? It's me, bitch. Thanks again for the host yesterday. Friday. No new followers less than three. Also, thanks, Raggets, for suggesting him. <laughs> no problem. Happy to send him to a family friendly stream where cursing isn't allowed. Just kidding. <laughs> it's alright. I know there's not a lot of family friendly streams on Twitch. Or no cursing streams. I guess you can be kind of family friendly and still have like slight cursing, but I don't know. How about chat something your hotkeys for skills? Chat change. So we actually did used to have um, chat changes hotkeys. Ow. Did something to my elbow too when I was climbing, I guess. Um. It was, yeah, it was kind of annoying. Like, I would just go in and, like, and change all my skills. But, I don't know. It didn't quite work out as, as well as we wanted to. Changing hotkey should be part of not my type. It actually is part of not my type. I think there's a command that will... I don't know if it'll... I Will it change the hotkey? It'll change the change skill. I don't know if it'll change the hotkey, actually. Ah, okay. I don't think not my type needs any boost. Let's just first throw that out there. I don't think that one needs to get any stronger. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Yes. Yeah, Grizz Caddy was the last one. Can change skill and not my type change to TP so you can still TP with cast? No. It's too dangerous. You shouldn't be able to reset ancients and screw, screw over ancients with a... Uh, not my type. That is reserved for save and quits or you getting really sneaky and somehow getting me like Camel does with the save and quits every now and then when I'm doing not my types and he catches me on the escapes. But just like straight up clicking it. That, that seems, that would keep us too too much there. Three thousand point helicopter threshold. <laughs> Thought I might have forgotten a loophole. Uh uh. 
<laughs> I have made it past 3,000 on helicopter twice. Once, like, a year ago, and another time yesterday when I got to 4,183. Ooh, BK sword. Draw a new emote live and upload it for use. That'd be cute. Can we replace it with Flappy Bird? I like helicopter, to be honest. I like it more than Flappy. The problem is, I, I'd have to get good at like the whole upload process, and because you have to get it into like all its formats and sizes, and it takes too much to get an emote approved. No, nah, partners get it approved immediately, unless you're on like probation because you abused it for some reason. Unless they changed that recently, but I think they they set it for that affiliate is approved and on. Approval. Wait, what? Oh, BK sword. Nice. Trash. Oops. Count numbers in Spanish. Uno. Dua. Three. Siete. Cinco. Arigato. Six. Change game language would be a cool one. I don't think you can even change the game language. I think you have to literally download the game in a different language. Do I know Spanish? Yeah, I just I just spoke it for you. Do we have an ethereal Tarnhelm, or is this a new eth item? Oops. Let's see it, chat. Ah, uh, oh, we do, and we have a better one. Rip. Darn, darn, darn. Two slots in the last two months and both wins. Wait, did you just win again? You have... Wait, what? You have three million? <laughs> oh my god, SF. <laughs> did I watch SC2's IM tournament? Was it this weekend? Because I was not able to do anything else this weekend other than stream. That's baller, SF. I can't carry anymore. That's some big points. See, I told you. Evo, don't don't mess my points up. Hold on. Did you set them to zero? No. Evo, hold on. We have to give SF his points back first. Because he gifted me like two million points or something. Oh, you gave him back? Okay. All right, you're good then. <laughs> I told you, SF. You can't give me your points. Evo always erases them. Because <laughs> he's evil. <laughs> We're good then. How are you guys doing? Thanks, Evo. Why do you have the ability... There is a flaw in this coding that my mod can overwrite my dollars. Like, shouldn't I have some sort of higher privilege than my mod where he can't come in and erase all of my stuff? <laughs> Afflicted Dota. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the sub. Super mod. I should still be above super mod. I should be top mod. And then he gets mod or super mod and then... You know, there should be a hierarchy here that is not being respected. That's all I can say. Yeah, like you can't time me out in my channel, but I can time you out. 
present honors me. Evo has uh, sent software to my computer, though, so I'm sure that he's the one that's ultimately in control. When he, whenever he feels like it, I'm sure he can just log into some back door and just lock me out of my own computer and then do whatever he wants. So, in the end, this is the Evo stream with Llama as the uh, face. <laughs> Evo is the brains. The mods have a lot of power. Power such as coding Mang songs out of the game. And if that ever comes to light, Evo will be banned from everything forever. I will march my way up to Evo's house and rip down his Christmas lights. You'd say no one has seen Evo, but that's not true. No, no one has seen Camel. Finally. <laughs> A gift for you. Glad to see you survived man versus stream. <clears throat> Thank you, butt soup. Bistro. <laughs> I got you, buttless. Did you unfollow accidentally? Sometimes Twitch will just unfollow you from channels. It's been a bug for a long time. I don't think they've ever fixed it. Also, sometimes people just accidentally click the unfollow button. And sometimes they click it intentionally. <laughs> SF was not banned, no. Good night, Zabor. Have a good one. Oh yeah, don't forget that in the last four months, since November, all data of stream elements has been erased. So, not from the Twitch side, but from the other side. Yo! Anonymous gifting 20 subs. Wow. Whoever Anonymous is, thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. It's very generous. That's actually crazy because it didn't do every single sub this time. So it looks like that's been fixed. Because before it used to, if you did an anonymous subscription gift, it would show <sighs> every single meat. one. This own 326 gifted a tier one sub Mwah. to Finex. And so we had somebody do an anonymous 100 gift sub, and it read 100 gifted subs. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. But mwah, thank you so much. That honestly is extremely generous. Please throw some loves in the chat. I really appreciate that. Dang, destruction sick. That is so generous. Thank you, thank you. Banned for too much watch time. That's right. But yeah, the last... Three months of data <laughs> got deleted on the Stream Elements server. So all loyalty points, all watch time, all follow, w or whatever stuff, all of that information just got deleted. And they somehow have deleted or lost all of the backups as well. Is Twitch chat based on IRC, by the way? It does remind me a lot of the olden days. I mean, it has to be, right? Because that's what Justin TV After was at first, right? MBS, I think Raggets would make a good journalist. She always makes sure to answer the 5W of journalism. What? 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 And what? What? 
I think just uh, that's fresh it. meat. Yo, what in the world? What? Afflicted Dota. My goodness. <clears throat> sub only stream. It's not sub only stream. Everybody is always welcome here. But thank you, Afflicted, for the 20 gifted subs. Holy cow. 40 because I've watched too much free YouTube comment. It's free. It's free, man. I appreciate that so much. Never feel obligated, but thank you from bottom of my heart. That means so much. I really appreciate it. He just gifted 20 subs. You can at least say his name correctly. Did I read it wrong? Afflicted dots. Why did I think it said Dota? Man. Afflicted dots. That's a fair point. <laughs> okay, that was yours as well. Well, thank you for the 40 gifted subs, afflicted dots, 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 dots. I am overburdened. So generous. Peeing nature ring later. The same game you roll another nature ring, but roll as a rare ring? Yes. It'll roll as a rare ring, not another unique. Hey, okay. How you doing? How you holding up over there? Can you get a gear update? It's pretty much the same that it was on the exclamation mark MF gear, to be honest. Like, not a lot has changed. I've upgraded some of my small charms. So I have, like, more 7 percenters. You know. A lot of 7%. Pretty much everything is a 7% unless it's like that one, obviously, or a couple like 5-5 five, five and 6-4. But... Other than that, though, uh, all this has stayed the same. I think that got a little bit better. It's a 28%er. So that's pretty nice. How long since I've seen Archon Staff drop? Really a long time, surprisingly. Really a long time. Oh, I've been hearing too much about endless builds, RPGs like any of the game, you need great design art store world game. You can't just have crazy customization fall short in other areas. That's what PoE is. Is it for this reason, yeah. I heard that Harrison Ford is sexually attracted to people with infectious diseases. Yep, that's right. All you have to do is sneeze on him. Cause that's how you. Woo Han. Oh. I thought it was some weird fetish thing, but it's just a bad joke by Evo. Okay. <laughs> oh. Do I think this specific seed doesn't have good odds towards it? No, because I haven't, uh... I've, I've re-rolled my seed like six or seven times. I've changed my map. They've all just been trash. I mean, way more than that since the start. I'm saying just since we needed to find Mang Songs itself, I've re-rolled a bunch. So. Do I ever think I'll find Mang Songs? Of course I do. That's why I'm still running the character. <laughs> I still have some hope somehow. <laughs> but uh you know but for real though yeah i'm gonna find it by the end of this year i literally have a coupon for one free mang songs lesson right here and it expires uh, December 31st, 2020. So. I know that I'm going to get it before then. I'm just going to trade my coupon in.
<laughs> Maybe if they needed someone to model like airplanes, I could I could be a model. I I would do I would build it and then that would be my modeling of it. <laughs> there are much prettier people on this planet than myself. But that's okay. I'll be an oil and gas model. <laughs> Beautiful. Just drinking out of the container. <clears throat> Lisk! With the 20. Mm, who is this big llama? I don't know, man. It's dangerous to NF alone. Take this tip to get a pizza to accompany you. <laughs> or eat the pizza. Your choice. I'll probably keep him just at, next to me at my side. Upstream only. <laughs> Alright, I'll just pose with a, a drilling rig, I guess. Ow! Stop it. I look like a golfer. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay at golf. I'm not great at golf. I need to practice more golf. Add it to the list of Llama's retirement. Am I a Sagittarius? Is this a pickup line? Cause you're sagging my, you're sag, nah, it's not a pickup line. No, nah, I'm a Libra. Trying to find it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liz. Go get a pizza. I need you to help me with my taxes. Keely said you are the man. All right, yeah. Send me a, a message on Discord. Or text me or something. I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's why you're buttering me up, huh? I'm a nomad. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I'd qualify myself as a nomad. What what would be the definition of a nomad in, in the today's world? Hey, camel. You missed him yesterday? Didn't he do enough on Saturday? <laughs> traveling the country yeah I feel like you know you gotta I'd have to travel more in a living standpoint like I do move about yearly so like once a year I move and I'll be moving again probably in the fall <laughs> my voice is not having it today uh, thank you North and uh Yeah, but, uh, but like that's the thing. I'm, I'm paying rent on a yearly lease. That being said, I do generally travel a lot. I probably traveled... I went to three different countries last year. Besides my own. And I generally take like... Probably about 20 trips a year. Many are work-related from either job. But that's not a nomad still, you know? So I don't think I'm a nomad. Cause I'm not like staying there for a month or anything. First stop of my travels, Idaho. I don't know if that'd be my first stop, but I'm sure there's some fun hiking we can do there. Is he Ragus? Oh, that's cool. Go to Korea? Maybe not right now, but I did go to Korea last year. It was super dope. I went to a StarCraft tournament and everything. You can't be a nomad llama. Your ankle tracker implicitly prevents Wow. What a jerk. 
Am I only running a 970 for this? Wait, what? Running a 970? What does that mean? What am I missing? Oh, yes. <laughs> GT. Uh, yeah. It's Diablo 2. What do you, uh, you could run the, whatever trash card you want for Diablo 2. Streaming takes like three times the processing power that Diablo 2 takes. So, at least. Probably more, to be honest. The biggest issue is Diablo 2 always uses one core. No matter what because it's, that's how it was coded. So. I can't carry anymore. No wonder your MVS software runs like trash. I literally had to buy a new, uh, I mean that's, you know, processing power. But I went out and bought a new pro CPU because of Evo's software. <laughs> Do I only do single player? For the most part. I do multiplayer every now and then, but... Between streaming, Evo's software, running the wheels, Diablo 2, having... Another Hydra Bow. Having things like helicopter and all the chrome tabs up, everything like that. My computer was just lagging. Evo's software was the thing that pushed it over the top. So I was like, screw it, let's just upgrade. And it's been good. Cause it also improved like PoE performance and stuff a little bit. Just get a 32 core. Can I play Wind Waker? I, I think I will play Wind Waker soon. Um, we're finishing up Ocarina of Time right now. And then maybe I'll do Majora's Mask after that. And then, um, I kind of want to do like the GoldenEye campaign or Shadows of the Empire, Banjo 2, I, I don't know. I kind of want to mix some of those in, but I do need to add Wind Waker at some point because I've never played any of the, uh, like, Legend of Zelda games besides Breath of the Wild there. And so, and Wind Waker I just hear is like so good. Hit. <laughs> I know, my memory is not great, so that's fun for me, because I get to make the same mistakes again. So it's wonderful. I'm gonna need a Wii. I actually have a Wii, I think. I don't know where it is. Is it? Somewhere in my house is a Wii. That's all I can say. I bought it because I wanted to speedrun Ocarina of Time and I had to use a Wii to do that, I think, or something. And I just never got around to it. So, I haven't done anything with the Wii, it just kind of exists. <laughs> Am I playing those on a 64? Yeah. Wow, Evo. I was looking at the ceiling. Yeah, I've got like a shelf above my computer. I was looking to see if I put it up there. A lot of people just speed around Wii Virtual Console. Yeah, that's what I was looking at doing. But it was like you had to set it up to be the Japanese version. And then you had to do a bunch of like things and download all. The it was like a really complicated way to do it all and I just never got around to doing it and so I was like eh, oh well <laughs> Skyward Sword is that the one where you have to have all the annoying controls I feel like people didn't like that one do I ever feel like I am forced to play Diablo because that's what my audience expects and you'll lose subscribers yeah totally i mean welcome to the life of streaming <laughs> ish bb for the eight months by the way thank you <clears throat> um 
I see it more like this. A lot of people complain about that, right? And then they go on their Twitter rants and they're like, if you don't want to watch me when I'm playing other games, then don't even come to my stream because you're not a true supporter of blah, blah. Like, get over yourself, right? Uh, I, I, I think, you know what? First off, if anybody shows up at any time, that's like awesome and amazing. Literally any time. Whether I'm, I only show up for the intros because I want to watch you do a welcome what's up YouTube voice and then I leave or I watch every stream or I only watch when you stream it I don't care like you live your own life and the fact that you take any time out of your day to show up to my streams is is amazing and and a part of why I get to do this and so that's awesome right so I have nothing against anybody <clears throat> for uh, you know for, for not watching or choosing or whatever it is. And I, at the same time, I also understand it from that perspective as well. Because it's like, you know, y you build an identity as a stream and the whole thing is your identity. So, you know, it's, it's like, I love Chipotle. I go to Chipotle three to four times a week and I eat a lot of Chipotle. If I go to Chipotle and they're serving Asian food and then they're serving burgers and then they're serving other things, I'd be like, huh, okay, well, I'm going to come back when you guys are serving burritos because I'm here for a Chipotle burrito. Right? I have nothing against those other things, but like... I go into that kind of with an expectation of what I'm looking for. I feel your man. I have to play Microsoft Windows Server every day, even when I'm bored of it. Otherwise, my employer stops subscribing Kappa. Right. Exactly. And like, yeah, some people might walk into. <laughs> some people might walk into Chipotle and they go, "Oh, it's burgers. Sweet. I'll eat a Chipotle burger." Right. Other people might walk into it and go, oh, it's, you know, whatever. Sure, I'll eat that. But in the end, that's, I mean, that's what it is. Like, people kind of, I you know, a, a whole stream or a whole restaurant or a whole store, whatever it is, becomes a, like, it, it has that full identity. And so when you go to it, you expect something. So when you come to my stream, you expect Mr. Llama plus Diablo 2 plus the Diablo 2 community and all the people that watch Diablo 2. You expect to see Camel trolling and Evo making dad jokes and, you know, the whole shebang, right? All of that is, like, a part of what you're expecting. And so when you come in and it's different and there's different people and there's a different game and Mr. Llama doesn't know what he's doing playing the game and whatever... Some people are going to leave because they're going to go, yeah, nah, this isn't what I want to watch. <laughs> and Ubio showing up once a month. Exactly. Mwah. Thanks, Ubio. <clears throat> Where can I take you? And thank you, Adion, as well, for 25 months. So how do you become a variety streamer that I don't even care what gameplay? I just want to listen to people's psychological problems. Sure. So the way you become a variety streamer is... You literally set that up as the expectation. So I could become a variety streamer today if I wanted to, right? But I would have to rebrand a little bit, right? I'd have to say, hey, Chipotle is no longer just selling burritos. Chipotle is now going to turn into a target of sorts. And so we're going to have food. We're going to have clothing. We're going to have all sorts of things. And uh, Jinther's Rift is fun. And some people are going to stop going to Chipotle. But some people will still go there because they'll be like, all right, well, you know what? I like Chipotle. I like the design. I like the new area. I'll give it a try. I've always liked the brand. Cool. You know what? I'll start shopping at Chipotle for my toilet paper and paper towels and whatever stuff. I start my life as a nomad tomorrow. <laughs> Moving into the koala if everything Woo! works out as planned. Nice. Also getting brand new tires for it in the M as well. 
Nice. Thank you and the community for the confidence to do so. Congrats, Mudstone. I'm glad to play Diablo 2 so I don't have to. I sink way too much time in this game. I just pretend I'm playing and I'm really good. That works too. I hope the you world PvP in Diablo 4. I see world PvP is one of the most long-term features games. Not the most. Yeah, that would be sick. I really hope so as well. When DV does his variety, his viewers are 10%. Yeah. And so... So this is something that, like I say, I could become that, but I would have to first accept that in the rebranding process, there is going to be a, a initial, at the very least, drop. No matter what I do, there will be people who say... I totally don't mind that Chipotle once had a restraining wow, order. Not, not the case. No matter what I do, there will always be people Impossible. that will just say, you know what? I'm here for Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 alone and Diablo 2 with Mr. Llama, but if he's not playing it, I'm just not going to be here because I don't want to watch other games on Twitch. And that's just going to be that. I am man with the 500 as well. Thank you both. At the same time, there will be people who will say, you know what? I love Chipotle so much. I don't care what they sell. I'm just going to be here. And as long as Chipotle is open, I'm going to keep coming to the store and just hanging out and having fun because it's a fun environment, right? I enjoy the community. I enjoy the people. I enjoy the streamer, whatever it is. So you're going to get that mix. I don't have a restraining order. Mama, don't work listen the e. to them. Coli outbreak into your Chipotle analogy. <laughs> no. So, you know, so that's just always going to be a thing. And so if you do make that switch to variety, you're going to build up a little bit different audience. You'll keep some of the people that are there for you no matter what. You'll bring in some new people who are ones that enjoy watching you and enjoy watching you playing a variety of games. And then you'll always just pick up people that are there to watch you sometimes when you're playing certain games and not when you're playing other games they don't care to watch. But, uh, you know, that's something that you'd have to kind of want to do. And personally, I just don't really care enough about changing my game all the time. I think that's one of my biggest things is like those guys play a new game every like week at least, you know? And I would just hate that. Constantly having to search for a new game to find, to play. What if I don't enjoy it and it's like two hours in? Do I switch? Do I, you know, constantly being bad at games and having to try and get good? I don't know. Have I tried Lost Ark? I have not. I am here for the paper airplane folding and paper airplane folding only. I have been waiting very patiently for the paper airplanes. Are You've you ever planning patient. on doing paper airplane streams? Pog. We'll probably do another one at some point. But, uh, you know. And, and like I say, I really think ultimately it, it comes down to what you want personally as a streamer. Exactly, Llama. You have a point. People struggle to add variety to their expected jobs. Don't bring Take up the proctologist. Gosh example. dang it. He tried his hands at dentistry for the day, but all his patients kept telling him to get his hands out of their mouths. I wonder why. <laughs> of course. Of course. It's gross. So, you know, if I wanted to... Oh, thanks, Cypher. If I really wanted to just say, forget it, this isn't a job, this is just me having fun and enjoying everything completely and, and no matter what, blah, blah, blah. And I also don't care about, you know, building a connection with Blizzard and, like, all of the stuff that I get to have there and being the face of Diablo, you know, self-proclaimed or whatever. Um, if none of that mattered to me, I could make that decision. I could say, all right, instead of making 50 grand a year, I'll make 
25 grand a year and I'll go stream variety games and it won't matter as much and I'll, you know, I'll enjoy doing those things or whatever it is, right? Like, you can, you get to choose your, um, what you want to do, right? Some people are like, I don't care. I don't care about this being a job. I just want to have fun. specific fluffy individual that would like to talk to you about being the face of Diablo. Eh. Those were just random numbers. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's all just uh, something that each person has to, to decide. But like for me, I love this. I've never understood how people do variety streaming. It's like saying, hey, I don't want to be good at any game in front of a bunch of people all the time. Right. Then again, there are people that play Diablo 3 of their own volition without being held at gunpoint or something. Point. World full of oh, crazies kappa. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Gamble. <laughs> So, you know, that's something that, like, for me, one, this is a job, and so I have to treat it a little bit like a job and say, you know what? Some days I'm going to go, ah, oh, I kind of wish I was playing a different thing right now. But, you know, I'm not going to because I know it'll be important to do this. Other days I say, you know what? This is a day to take a break, and I'm just going to play some Zelda or do something else to help myself avoid burnout and whatever stuff. So, you know, I like to mix job and fun in both for uh, streaming. It feels so weird not torturing you. <laughs> Does it? Is it that hard to just sit and watch me play without being tortured? <laughs> yeah, so you have to exercise discipline, but also have fun a little bit. Kind of like any job, right? You need to make sure you're disciplined enough, but also you don't hate yourself with it, and so there's always finding a balance. Where can I take you? Bye, Franz. Have a great night. When will I hit 99? Hey, man, we're closing in on it. We are 67.65% of the way, over two thirds. I did lose the stream. It wasn't even close. I got destroyed. How many people would actually play Lama RPG? I think we'd have a pretty good player base. I think the game looks pretty fun. Your push press is higher than your front squat? Well, that doesn't seem like that's right. <laughs> I died one time at 98. It's very sad to Knock on wood. I have not won man vs. stream this season, no. It's been rough. <clears throat> so yeah, a lot of mine comes from looking at future goals and saying, alright, I want to be in a position where I can stream full time completely in the future and not have a second job. Right? And so, you know, I know that having a main game and doing it this way and stuff like that is something that will lead me to that goal faster. I like getting to work with Blizzard and be decent at a game that I play and stuff. And I like the Diablo community. That's one of the biggest things. I really just like the community here. Because people are much more mature and stuff. You had better not be debating us about Llama RPG. I'm looking forward to playing it. It will be fantastic, is all I can say. Sounds like you try to make excuses for what? 
I am not 980 A or B. I'm part time. So I'm Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I work 24 hours at my other job. And it is at home, yes. Yeah, I work at home and then I work at home. So it's a lot of home. <laughs> nice, Chuban, that's sick. Druid's really fun to play, honestly. <laughs> Camelage. <laughs> that's all great llama, but really what we all want to know is if llama RPG supports couch co-op. It does not support couch co-op. I'm sorry. It is a PC only game. And mobile. We're actually working on mobile development. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not gonna be a mobile game. It'll just be a PC game that is, you know, simple enough that you can play it on your mobile. That's all. It's turn-based. So, like, you know, you don't have to fight in a way that is whatever. Just no man sky it. <laughs> the world is so big you won't find anyone else. There won't be any microtransactions and the game will be free. It'll use your Dalai Lamas that you get in chat. So. Microtransactions? No. Pause. That is the, the current plan for it. So gambling. No, it's not, the game is not supposed to make money. I just want to make a game that's fun and people will enjoy and isn't about profits for the first time in a long time. Too many games are money hungry, so we're just trying to create a game that's fun because that's supposed to be what it's about. That's what they always say in the beginning. My diet is terrible. I should start eating healthy for myself. I do eat healthy for myself. I ate a hearty bowl of Cheerios every morning. Make sure to get your yum yum Cheerios. May help lower cholesterol. Oh God. And then uh, I eat Oreos and pizza. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Cheers. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll I'll reach out to them. Just practicing for when we get the sponsorship. <laughs> Fanged knife, dang. Not bad. Is a crystal sword found in cows normal guaranteed to have four open sockets? Yes. Good day. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Nah, forget that. What am I recovering from? <clears throat> Man versus stream. And the slight sickness that I picked up. Oh no, SF. Rip. Like I said, 
We'll start with Lime RPG. Bam. Mang Song's lesson. And then, uh, bam. And then we'll move into developing Llama ARPG. And it'll be what all of the games are missing nowadays. And that's a fun game that's not riddled with BS microtransactions. And it'll just be a solid RPG. Llama Studios is going to put it out. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be, that's the future I envision. It'll just be an amazing ARPG like Diablo 2, the true future Diablo 2 that's not greedy. Simple as that. A non-profit game, but not like non-profit where we're still making tons of profit, paying ourselves big salaries or whatever, just like non-profit. What is your thought, Camel? Naga. Lore ARPG? Hog. Lore. The lore will we'll have to bring someone in for lore. Camel's gonna be like, alright, so you're only allowed to gamble items. Everything is white and you have to craft all of your items. It's always hardcore. There's no towns. Nobody can heal you. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've hit at least on half of Camel's idea with that. What up, Wumik? Welcome over. <laughs> Sounds like a job. Yeah. Do I have any interest in Baldur's Gate 3? I've never, I don't know anything about Baldur's Gate, honestly. Only have four skills, a minion, melee, a projectile, then you give players a whole bunch of ways to customize it. I feel like that's what some games do. They do like the very limited skills and then you get a lot of customization on it. <clears throat> Like Diablo 4 is trying to do that a little bit. All right, you get all the skills, they're very limited, and then you use a bunch of uniques to customize them and make them your own. So it can multi-split and you can teleport on cast and all sorts of things. I think it could be interesting. I think, I don't know. I kind of like things being specialized though. You know? Like, and obviously I have a Diablo bias that's always going to exist. Yeah, you make your players design the skills for you. But, I feel like Diablo 2 really hits pretty close to an ideal variance. Right? I was born in September. Like, let's go through Sorceress. You can be a fireball build, you can be an enchant build, you can be a, a hydra build, kind of, not so much now. You can use, be a meteor build, and that kind of all goes together with the straight fire. But of course, you can have your fire and light, fire and cold variances. You can be a lightning build, you can be a nova build. You can have energy shield, or you cannot have energy shield. You can be a blizzard build, you can be a frozen orb build. And of course, you can mix and match those things across here and there. So it gives you, you know, probably a decent number of builds. This skill is kind of viable early. This skill is kind of viable early. This one is useful in CC. Um, this one can be useful, and these can be useful later game. This is useful, and this is useful, and that's useful. This is the best one, but these two can have their own uses if you really want. No, this is the best one. 
This skill can be useful. This is useful. That's useful. That's useful. That's used all the time. That's if you want to hit a spread. That's very useful. That can be used in PvP and such. And that can be also very useful. And that's useful. People use that plenty of the time. That's useful. That's useful. That's useful. That's useful. That actually is useful. You see it used in speedruns. That's not really useful. That's not really useful. That's useful. And that's not really useful. So overall, you get a large variety of skills that have uses at different times in the game, right? You get a lot of different kinds of builds. You get different builds that can be good at different times. And then you get your endgame builds, and there's still a lot of a variety of endgame builds. Blaze did kill Diablo very quickly. That is true. Hydra used to be good, yes. So that's really, like, why I feel Diablo 2 is so clutch in its skills, right? With that logic, why were you complaining about our psychic hammer build? Because you were trying to make me use it at level 40. Um, <clears throat> that really is, uh, you know, the beauty of Diablo 2 and something that I think gets lost a lot of times is that in Diablo 2, there are skills that are useful late game. People use this in PvP late game all the time. Of course, this gets used in late game and chance just an 18 skill. So you get these middle skills. I use, you know, Ice Blast still in late game plenty. But there's also skills that are just useful very much like early on unless you're like super buffed and then they can be used late game. Charge Bolt can actually crazily be used late game if you want to use it on like bosses in some crazy ways. But like Fire Bolt, you know, Ice Bolt, right? They're really mostly like early game things, things like that, whatever it is. And that's kind of the beauty is the game really naturally progresses your character through. Skills get stronger. Your character gets better. But things can still have use late game. You don't just immediately drop something at the beginning. This is something that I think is a problem in a lot of games that we see later on. Is either every game has to be great or every skill has to be crazy strong. Because everything needs to be strong enough to like complete the entire game. Or, like, it's never used again, and it's just you get to the end, and that's it, and it's the big strong one, and that's that. And, like, I don't know. Or there's, like, no skills. You get, like, three skills that you use on the way up. Or, you know, there's just so many different great combinations as you're leveling. There's such a good give and take in this game as you're, as you're making your way up. And that's what I really love about um, Diablo 2. I, I think it does it really well. I think there's just enough skills and just enough variety, not too much variety, and you can still have things like PvP and all of that stuff um, in the game because it's, it's all balanced pretty well across. So that's what I love about Diablo 2. That's that's what just makes it so good. Most subs I've gotten in a single stream. So I want to say there was like a 800 day or something. Like a year and a half ago year ago <laughs> let's set the record <laughs> we're on our way hey 52 is a great day any day is a great day how about that I just wouldn't bother with PvP I think having P balanced PvP and PvE is basically impossible Diablo 2 did it I think having balanced PvP is almost a necessity to having balanced PvE. Because if your skills and everything is so balanced that you can have PvP that's at least functional, even if you don't think Diablo 2 is perfect, it's functional. And with some minor rule adjustments by players, you can have functional PvP. I think if you can have that, you can have a game that's pretty solid.
Might have choose ancient tunnels, no cold immunes in it. Right, exactly, and that's what GM rules were. Halo is great in PvE and PvP, that's true. I think shooter games are a lot easier to make balanced in PvE and PvP, honestly, than... <laughs> Almost every shooter game has a pretty decent both. How do you get llama bucks? Just hanging out in chat. That'll get you them. Subs get double, and uh, I think bits and donations also add some, but if you just hang out and watch, you'll naturally accumulate them. How does it feel to play D2 with a normal cursor? You don't know how good this feels. Oh, it's so relaxing. It's crazy. Your presence <laughs> Close, Derek. Good night, SF. Have a good one, bud. Thank you again. Lots of requests for big grid spinning cursor. What is wrong with people? <laughs> big grid spinning cursor. That will literally make the entire screen just impossible to see. D2's, I just got a unique amulet from Hell Mephisto. Good luck. Get yourself a Mars. Uh, D2 is very clearly lacking in some areas. I think D2 is the best RPG ever made. I also think Diablo 2 is 20 years old and has some limitations and has some, you know, early ideas that could be fleshed out further and some games do flesh them out further but fail to keep the same core um, and that's a lot of times where it falls short obviously PoE currency system is probably the best uh, extension or, or furthering and the crafting system is you know hands down one of the greatest crafting systems around the fact that you can spend an entire league just continually crafting the same like items to try and make better items is kind of crazy and kind of fun too right it adds this whole uh, crazy end game to the game but uh, you know obviously I've spoken about it before their combat has failed so much that it really hurts the game, in my opinion. This game does not have better crafting. Oh, than Minecraft? Probably not still. This game's crafting is extremely weak. The amount of effort you have to put into the, the amount of chance you actually get a good craft is borderline not worth it. And that's like, coming from someone who plays all the time it's just so bad there's just so little crafting am I doing Wilson I am not doing Wilson right now Would I recommend Peewee or Grim Dawn if I, if I pick one they're very different experiences I think Grim Dawn plays better like if you're enjoy if you enjoy combat and fighting and all of that you'll enjoy that more if you enjoy just like crazy spreadsheeting of stuff and like massive trees and insane, I mean, if you want crazy complicated and complex, PoE. <laughs> but you will get bored of the combat. 
it'll just turn into loop simulator. But like not in a, you know, like this is loot simulator, but like I'm still having to engage with these monsters. You know. <laughs> there, I do not. Should give Belzebub a try? Maybe. Yep. So, Diablo 2 crafting is just atrocious. I mean, think about how many hours I have in this game. Now think about the coolest thing I've crafted. I am, Am I always crafting? No, but like I use a lot of my gems to craft, you know, like amulets, things like that. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Hey, send me a message again uh, on Discord. And what like tax questions you have? I can't carry anymore. I know. I don't craft everything. I'm not trying to craft amazing blood gloves or whatever. I, I usually just craft amulets. So, I could do more crafting. But, uh, I just don't feel really incentivized to. Like I said, the crafting in this game is so subpar. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't even entice me that much to do it. I do wish that was better. Which is better, gambling or crafting? I mean, they're different. Gambling is just to, like, get drops. It's the same as, like, drops. Crafting is crafting, which is a, a, its own separate thing because you get, get certain mods and stuff, so. King Nyx. Thank you so much. Welcome to Llamas of the Round. Oh. That was off, sorry. I know in my heart that today is the day. Thank you, Dusted. <sighs> Fresh meat. Does an ARPG need crafting to be successful? Clearly not. Look at Diablo 2. That being said, I think it would make Diablo 2 better. I can't carry anymore. You know? Found a Haas. Eth Haas? Ah, non Eth. Two hundred percent. One sixty three. Gross. Good day. I have not seen the Grim Dawn mod. How do I like Pee-wee? I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Is it rumored it's like crafting in a way? Yeah, but it's a set result. Obviously, there's variance in the percentages, but that's like the variance of finding an item. Rune words are like uh, the weakest version of crafting possible. <laughs> I feel like crafting should have much more variance to it in a way of like, you know, you don't know exactly what you're gonna get. You're adding a random mod to it or whatever it is, right? No cold means down here. That's all. Your presence honors me. We'll see what they do. The problem with PoE I don't think comes from monsters needing to be more difficult. 
as the problem with PoE is the game is either you one shot or you get one shot. It's so fast. I think that's the biggest issue with it. And we saw that a little bit with this latest league, right? In the latest league, monsters were buffed, right? Everything got harder. And really all it did was make a lot of builds like less viable because, and it made, wow, 242 ED, darn. Um, it made necromancers like so good, right? And I say less viable in like hardcore terms. And it was because necros were the only ones that like weren't dying and you still were doing enough damage. Otherwise you would have to see phases of things and then you would just get one shot. Not in town. And that was just like, I don't know. That was, that was something that I found was uh, a tough part of it. Yeah, I dropped Birdoing MVS. It was awful. So, you know, I, I feel like that's where the issue comes from. It's not like things need to be more difficult or whatever it is, so there's more interaction that way. Like, that kind of is a part of it. But things need to slow down, and there needs to be, like, just better engagement from better speeds, you know? And that's where I always, you know, I'll continue to look back at something that works, Diablo 2. You know, look at how fast Diablo 2 moves. You can still die plenty, because you're gonna put yourself in tough situations and there's still enough speed on things, but everything at the same time is also at a speed that you can like Position yourself away from it, you know, and improving your hit recovery and FCR and things like that can be really important. So you'll make sacrifices on gear to get the frame so you can get away. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. And some things you can slaughter, but some things are still going to really, you know, every monster still has a lot of meaning. Would I recommend close Bnet or Pod? Uh... Depends what you're looking for. They're very different experiences. So, yeah. So it'll stick between games, God Sauce. Right. And that's kind of the issue is power creep is very hard to take away. Once players get used to moving at a speed, killing things so fast, doing whatever stuff. Like, that's really hard to remove without people going, uh, it feels sluggish and slow now. might change <laughs> we're changing 270 nodes camel <laughs> it gonna change and that was the thing also that we talked about with uh the progression of d2's difficulty the game just continually, slowly gets a little bit more and more challenging as you play it. <laughs> you know? Like, Diablo 2 just continually gets a little bit harder and a little bit harder as you go on. Things get a little bit faster, things do a little more damage, they have better mods, all that stuff. Mang songs. Ah. How'd I balance crafting in order to 
prevent it from becoming the main focus of the game. I mean, I think you can look at, like, PoE is amazing crafting, but it also is like a lot of power creeping crafting because there's so many mechanics and so many things that are constantly, right? There's like more and more and more and more and more. But I think you could totally look at like a game like Diablo 2 and take Diablo 2 and just give it some crafting, right? Give it, give it crafting where you have some fun currencies that you can find as you go and just make the chances of crafting something a little better. I think I think that would honestly do it really well. Cuz there's cool things that you can craft in Diablo 2. There are actually super cool items. But you just never see them, uh, you know, once in a blue moon. <laughs> Somebody's bot, crafting bot or something, whatever, will craft something cool, you know? Like, I've never crafted a 220, you know, decent amulet that had dope mods on it, ever. And so maybe give chances to just do that a little bit more. Maybe even bring in the chances to re-roll things a little bit more, right? Or re-roll things at all. Because right now in Diablo 2, there is no re-rolling whatsoever of gear. Right? If I find a rare item, that is all the mods that the rare item will have. That is that for the eternity of that item. End of story. So maybe you don't allow complete overhauls like in PoE where you can do whatever you want for it. I mean, I guess you can always just do a complete re-roll of it. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can re-roll things, but you can never, like, re-roll... Like, in PoE, you can re-roll specific things, right? You can target stuff and whatever. In Diablo 2, you can just re-roll the whole item, and even that's pretty expensive. And it's, like, not great, right? The chances are so low. So maybe allowing some combination of that stuff. Right? Make it so there are ways that we can access these really cool crafted rare items a little bit more. And I think that would actually improve the game a lot. Because one of the biggest issues right now with the game is that there's still a lot of limits. You know, I'm still going to be using Death Fathom. I'm still going to be using my Three Tiles. I'm still going to be using Shaco. I'm still going to be using Trangs. Like, Diablo 2, for as great as its itemization is, which it is fantastic... One of the biggest issues is that there's still kind of that like set end thing and nothing is better. And obviously some rune words have ruined things like grief has ruined a lot of stuff and whatever, right? I can't carry so, you know, I don't, I don't want crafting to be a constant replacement of drops, but I think you could definitely have them in tandem. Right? You could have the chances of crafting an awesome thing and the chances of finding an awesome rare thing both be things that exist. Simple as that, right? And then make rune words a little worse and now you've got things that are a lot more set like Diablo Classic, non-LOD, where rune words aren't a thing and people's builds use a bunch of awesome rare items that they find and stuff and that is so cool I think that's one of my favorite things and something that I sorely miss I love so many other parts about LOD but the OP rune words are a downfall for sure and uh, make me a little bit sad eh, Tal Amy is still dope yeah, and POD is a cool mod because it's pretty similar to the game, but ords can make other I items viable. And, like, look at how adding one simple item that can be an orb and do that has changed that game to make other, thing really, other things interesting. So I'm always just a fan of decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. The more that you give players decisions... 
where they can sit there and say, I chose to do this for reason X, Y, Z, and somebody else can say, well, I chose to do this for reasons A, B, C. And they can say, okay, well, I didn't find blah, blah, blah. And they go, yeah, okay, well, then I would do that, right? The more that you can do that stuff, the better a game can be without having to actually add complexity in. You're adding in complexity just in the just in the decision-making process. Just in how they think about the problem that they're facing. And when you can add decisions that way, I think that's when you have a really successful game. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thank you, Leprechaun. Oh, God. I'll read that in a second, Camel. Well, somebody just said the remake is not amazing. Just okay, so. I don't even mind the PoE skill tree that much. I think it's interesting and it's not too confusing once you understand what the tree is. So. You know, it is a lot to take in, but I don't think it's actually that complicated in its nature. It just feels a lot more complicated than it is. I really like having the super high potential for items too. Like there is a best in slot to beat the game, but absolute best items are super and only one person in the world has it. I.e. the best one hand axe and PoE is still torment rend and only Ziz has the original. It's not like D3 where if you play for 100 hours, you'll have the absolute best in slot. I completely agree. And that goes in the same way of having peaks that are so high, right? Like, let's get up our paint. Uh, where's my window? Nope. Hold up. Properties. Paint. Right? That goes there where it's just like, okay, here's, you know, rare items. It's not super visible on the white screen, but sure. Right. And, and maybe even more like this, you know, is how you're going to have rare items be. And then magic items are going to be even more inflated of that like style and then can go up like that, right? So even broader at that base. Like I and then, you know, having crafted items, I think cuz right now crafted items are like <laughs> this and then <laughs> that, right? Like <laughs> they're so bad. So having crafted items that follow that similar style where it goes up like that. But yeah, like these peaks right here are like one person has it or zero people have it or nobody has it. You know, like that axe that Ziz has might be like right here and there could still be a better axe in the game that's just never been created. Never been found, never been made, never been whatever. You know, so like this is this right here, though, is what I feel like needs to. To, to exist in a game and we obviously talked about the you know way that it all works but like this is this is what's really important in my mind so i think that it, you know you can obviously combine crafting with your magic items to enhance them in some ways allow for re-rolling of a certain stat or adding a certain kind of stat or whatever sort of things you want onto it um, and i think poe does that really well once again, there's just so much that you can add to it that I think power creep does get a little bit beyond. But, you know, incorporating this stuff together. But I think it's really important to have a game that has cool items in all styles that are just really useful. You've got, you know, rares. That, no, I'm not drawing that. Um, and so, uh, yeah. And so you just have just have really good crafting, just have really good... Um, different kinds of items and best in slot is really hard to to say you know so 
Hi. Yo, what up, Craig? It's me, Thank you so much. MF Monday Hive. Bam. Meng's Bam. Song. The fact that I am a people who know the random right name, the best is not one I have for it. says something with the impact. Impact Super Pog I am seven players. Exactly. Did I ever play eight years ago? The DST? No. Um, the dual axe wing swarms can unleash for frontal attacks. Would it be better to implement faster recovery in Diablo 4? It would, D Man G. It totally would. So, yeah, that's. That's something that I think is super important in the game. And somewhere that Diablo 2 can totally improve. Diablo 2's itemization is so good, but it it just hits the limit, right? Because it's so old. I think that's the biggest thing. The game is just super old, and they just... They didn't know... They started. They built the base. But they didn't, like, know to go beyond with it, you know? And that's somewhere they could have gone beyond. If they made crafting better if they made a way to enable more players to have cool rare items and more crafting to enable those best in slot crazy items that like never get made ever the game would be perfect yeah I didn't really find the hemo curse that fun it very much felt like Bane and P.O.D. Or P.O.E., excuse me. Um, and I don't know. It just was like... It was okay, but... It got better at the end a little bit when I was farming with it. But there wasn't... There just wasn't enough, you know? I also think like not enough of a uh, animation for it kind of also made it boring, right? Like, what's so cool about um, Frozen Orb? The animation. And having to like hit projectiles and aim your shots and stuff. So when you when you have none of that, it's just like eh, it's okay. Stop confusing the D4 team. Sorry, David Kim's still on D4. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff there. Good day. We lost the base ARPG along the way a little bit. Yeah, that was actually not terrible. Ooh, six and six. Dang, I wish that was a 7% so badly. Uh, that's a tough one. Do I want to lose a single res? That's, that's tough. Right, that's the thing. It's like, when they were building the game, I don't think they were building thinking, yeah, this game will be around and... All these years, you know? So it just kind of happened that it was so well built, it became a classic, that became the staple for how every RPG should be built, essentially. Fun goal, trash ever since, rip. Ow. 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 Stupid snakes. For me, one of the hardest issues with some RPGs and MMOs is that classes don't feel unique anymore. Yep. And that's one of the big issues that a lot of games face. And why I don't like Camel's idea too much of just four spells. <laughs> or four attack skills. 
even with the customization sub dose. I think classes, uh, giving a lot of customization to classes and things, I, I actually think is really important. Like, some of my favorite moments just of games are like when I go in and I go, what experience do I want to have today? And then I pick the Amazon or I pick the Barbarian or whatever the game is, you know? I'm playing Gauntlet Legends and I pick the Jester. I'm playing, you know, any and every game that I remember playing growing up. I loved selecting a class that I felt was super that class. I'm playing D&D. &D. It's so fun to create a character in D&D. &D. You know? When I'm playing Dota and I'm like, I'm going to play Invoker today. I'm going to play Meepo. I'm going to play any of the 110 heroes. They all feel, feel extremely unique. And I think that's super important. And I really don't like that everything just in all these games, I totally agree. Everything just kind of gets mushed together. There's not much of a class system. Everybody can do everything. And it just becomes... It's just not as fun. And especially when everything kills everything so fast and stuff like that as well, right? When every skill start, starts to feel the same, and that's where I feel we get a little bit here from the YouTubes, loving your new content. Watching your old let chat pick my skills, Barb run. <laughs> Any chance you do another run like that with another character? Yeah, it could be fun. Could be a good time. Thank you, Leprechaun. Hello. Why don't I... I mean, I don't have these socketed. I'm playing this character solo, so I'm not, like, using help from other characters for it. So, I already used my socket quest pretty stupidly, and so I'm just leaving it as is. And so, I don't know, a lot of skills feel clunkly, clunky, a lot of skills feel the same, a lot of skills don't feel like they have a unique voice. It's maybe not the best word, but it's the word I'm going to use. It's just, which way do I want to blow up giant AoEs of monsters this time? Like, man. I love the Barbarian in this game when he sucks and can't blow anything up. That's actually fun. That's He's actually one of my favorite characters. A lot of people don't 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 think that because, you know, obviously he's bad for speedrunning. But the Barbarian is actually one of my favorite characters in the game. He's just so bad for speedrunning. But if I'm just casually playing through the game, it's fantastic that the Barbarian doesn't have some giant AoE spell. And he, you know, he can sing Barb if you want or whatever, but like, he takes a while to oh kill stuff. Lord, it's a different way to play. Guy. It's a Still new game. Still looking for Mang's song after three years of grinding. What a pleb. Everyone else found it, even I did. I told you, Llama. Oh, well. You must be looking at the wrong places again. But who am I to say it? I'm just a sub. Kappa. Yep. Thanks, Black Gaver. Very thoughtful. God, souls are nasty. We all think Eva removed it. Exactly, Viper.
Never found Tyrael's. Ooh, good old Tyrael's. Black Gaber mod yet? Never. It'd be like making Camel a mod. Ain't that silly. <laughs> Probably true. All right, how close are we to ticking? Let's see. Uh... Hold up, where's my until next tick? Average run. Where is it? Hmm. Who knows? Hey, Corona's here. <laughs> Camel's got the best deal. But if he doesn't keep up his Twitch bit minimum, might lose it. <laughs> VIP's got minimums to hit. <laughs> Playing too much POE. <laughs> Greedy schmuck. <laughs> Pay to win badge. That's right. Hey, I gotta pay for server time to keep that badge active. probably do with making a couple other people VIPs. <laughs> it probably could be used for more than it, it is currently. I can have friends? Ah, well not if you think they're friends. Have a VIP lounge. Wait, is there a, a Twitch like spot where you can hang out with other VIPs? Or would you just like create one in Discord or something? I feel like they did they get rid of chat rooms in PoE? That used to be a thing, right? Or on NPOE and Twitch. Not uh, PoE. My bad. Look at this guy asking for money as exchange for VIP and or mod statuses. Jesus H Christ. I bet he wants us to donate sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty dollars for mod. You can't buy friends, you fool. <laughs> I don't see the room feature. Okay, I guess they got rid of room feature. Because I think there was a VIP room at some point. Of which Camel sat in alone. Can we bring the palace back? The palace. Black Gaver stopped in one time to drop off some coffee. I prefer vanilla. I mean, P.O.D. is great, but 
The power creep in it is a little much. Like he plays around a little bit too much for my liking. I like the I like Diablo too. Vanilla very much so as is. He does have some good ideas in it though. TC in throne room? Ah, eh, well too late now. Last run. It's till 99. It's till 99. I must have. Uh, hold on. Let me get D2 info. Okay, this is the one. I had I had a different one up. This one says when the next visual tick is. Mr. Llama Wave, Mr. Llama Oops. Wave. Hi, how's it going? No, go right there. Mwah! Thank you, FG Santo. Thank you, D2 Pilot. Will many songs happen before 99? Maybe. At this point, it's seeming less and less likely, though. Unfortunately. Ever bring back my hideous mop of long curly hair? Whoa, now. Why are people so sensitive over everything? I mean, I think we're in a tough spot right now, and that's where a lot of the sensitivity is coming from. I think a lot of people are, uh, you know, the world is, obviously the world is always getting better. As much as we like to pretend like it isn't, and the news likes to pretend like it isn't, the world is improving overall. I think one, this causes some issues for some people, though, uh, because it's easier to see everything else, right? And, uh, and I think that causes issues for people. I think it's just like, there's so much right now. I think that's the, that's the biggest issue. There is just so much going on and we see all of it. There always was so much going on, but we didn't see it all. But now people are aware of it. They're aware of all of the chaos. They're aware of all of the corruption. They're aware of all of the poverty they're aware of all of the riches they're aware of all of the you know murders and homicides and i guess that's murders and yeah you know sexual abuse and all of these things everything everywhere people are more aware of it because it's in our faces all the time and at the same time this is also one of the loneliest periods in human history um which is fascinating because we're so connected and yet we're so not connected, you know? The internet is wonderful and a curse. 20 IS, nice. And, uh, you know, and, and I think it's really tough. And a lot of people are feeling, I think just feeling so many things. They're feeling exploited, they're feeling, you know, uncertain, they're feeling less than right than others because they constantly see everybody's success there's a new keeping up with the Joneses and it's not just keeping up with you know your next door neighbor now you got to keep up with everybody all around the world and yeah now we're just llamas talking on computer screens and so you know, I really think it's, uh, I think it's just a lot. Oh, I love talking philosophy stuff. I'll answer those questions anytime. 
I think it's just a lot. That's the easiest way to put it. And it's very easy to get lost in the weeds of it all. Right. And like, I think we've also lost a lot of purpose in the way of what actually makes you happy as a person. Right. What brings true joy, I think, has been lost. Um... Join my army of the dead. Oh look at Mr. Philosopher over here. Meanwhile he's exploiting both Camel and me. Lo la la oh ha oh ah oh ah oh ah oh ah oh h u ho. That's right. And uh... Right, and like obviously people have thought that buying stuff will make them happy. You know, for a long time. I, I don't feel like that has changed a ton. But I feel like now it's like shoved in face, in everyone's face even more, right? Everywhere you go, you know, almost everywhere you go, somebody's advertising to you. Somebody is trying to make you think that you need to have more to be like them. They're posting a fake happiness. Uh, you know, and everybody's pretending and there's a lot of just fakeness all around with all of it. And, um, you know, and I think people have lost the, the sense and the idea that it's not having that will make you happy. It is earning. It is the uh, work. And I don't mean it in the way that all the boomers say, like, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and, you know, you shouldn't complain about anything. Because obviously there's plenty of injustices and things that need to be fixed in the world. But, you know, there is something to be said for sure Some people even about change overcoming. Some people even change their voice when talking to their YouTube audience. <laughs> That's right. Not me, though. Good luck, Matt Simpson. Like, I think happiness overall is a lot simpler than we... We try and make it complicated. But it's very simple. The best moments in my life, and I'm sure in many people's lives, when they really think about it, are A, ones with other people, and B, ones where they were proud of themselves and they accomplished something. Simple as that. And before you could just do that and accomplish things and that was great. And now it feels like you have to do that and accomplish things and then also be better than everybody else who's accomplished stuff. And your accomplishments are always compared to others. People get so hung up on that stuff. And that's where they get lost. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Exactly, some fishy. So. What makes me happy? Well, I just, I just told you that like five, five minutes ago. That was the whole, the whole thing. I just. Eh. <laughs> nah, I mean that's really it. Like my best moments in life are the times where I overcame stuff, and the times where I, um, spent time with people, with others. Interesting. You say something about the boomers and blame wrongfully. Funny you say so. Calls himself a philosopher. Blames the elderly who are wiser, <laughs> or most of them are. Meanwhile, you sit on a chair and talking to a computer. Some philosophy you got there, Kappa. That's right. So, those are, those are really my... Moments of, of joy. Ooh. 
I mean, you just gotta kinda learn to set that stuff for yourself. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Everybody has the responsibility to create their own happiness, you know? And a lot of people try and depend on that from someone else. <gasps> nice! We got a new eth item! Swag. Eth bings is wang. What? What happened to my items found? Why did it delete? Son of a gun. What did I find today? Uh, <laughs> Shadow Killer. BK Sword. 163% Haas. Eth Bing. It's weird. Okay. Let me update my eth grail. Nice. New eth item. That small charm is worth adding. Six cold res, six MF. Oh, it's a pretty good small charm. Yeah, if that was 7%, I would have been so happy. I don't even know if so many people are, are afraid of responsibility. As much as so many people are... Don't know the right way to approach it. Right? Like, it's very difficult. If you go back a few years ago... You know, it w that was a skill that I struggled with as well, and something that I just didn't really possess. It was very hard for me to figure out how to make myself happy. What am I supposed to do? Dang, I knew that colonoscopy went wrong, Alex. You were talking to your llama army. I wonder, was your doctor the right doctor or a janitor? Because when you start talking to animals, not that there's anything wrong with that. But over time, people start to worry, Kappa. What are you... You're just like a grandpa going off on random topics now. Right. And that's the other thing. I think we're also seeing a lot of the world that is... You know, now everybody has a voice because of social media. And so we hear so much more about that stuff. So once again, I don't think all of the world is feeling this way. All of these people are feeling this way. It's just the loudest ones, right? Who spend all their time on social media being miserable. And when you're miserable, you try and make other people miserable because that's the only way that you think that you're finding joy is by fighting with others. Because if you can't be happy, then they can't be happy. In the world, everybody can't be happy. Thanks to social media, I found out that everyone has an opinion and that most of those opinions are illogical roles. Right. Right, and claiming they speak for everybody and all that. I mean, yeah, it's all just a thingy. All right, get your antidote, Colzar. Are we born in this world just to die? Maybe, who knows? I don't think it's, uh, I mean, I think it's a great question to like search after, but I don't think it's one to like worry about, you know? Like for me, I'm like, you know what? I'm here, I'm gonna make the most of it. It's kind of just my thought process with it. Why bother living a crappy life? <laughs> I have the power to improve my life. 
and it doesn't always have to be improved by making more money or you know having more followers or anything like that like it can be improved by just spending more time with my family or improving my attitude thinking about positive things that happened to me that day there's really a lot of simple ways like that that obviously don't fix everything people are always like that's not gonna make it all better but like shoot man if you go and start a journal and just write down three positive things that happen to you ev every day I literally did this by the way when I was sad like Joaquin Phoenix said enough with people thinking that they're the center of the universe and start working together in a better way yeah exactly like I just went and wrote down three things that happened to me every day that I thought were nice and it could be as simple as somebody came over and asked if I they could get me a coffee cool I felt really good about my paper that day you know whatever it is and by just simply acknowledging positive changes in my life my life improved a little bit and it's kind of like smiling right <laughs> if you just smile you will feel a little bit happier oh Archon staff son of a gun There's our Archon Staff. Brutal. And once again, this isn't the cure for depression or anything, but like, you, know, you gotta start somewhere, and it's all the small things really that add up. Yeah, and a lot of people just don't have the tools to handle the tough times. I think that that is totally it. They get in a tough position and they look and say, who's going to fix this for me? They never learn the skills to address that themselves. And then things are difficult for them, obviously. How you doing, future? I know you like to talk about this stuff as well. <laughs> yep. And I definitely have seen a lot of people who's who just grew up and they, I don't want to say they had it too nice, but they grew up and they had a lot of nice in their life and uh, you know I think it had an effect you learn a lot of things when you go through challenge and struggle it's kind of like how an ARPG everybody now is like don't have an inventory that requires any management everything should be one because it needs to be efficient and smooth and there shouldn't be any struggle straight up and it's like you know, it's good to have little frustrations because then when you overcome them and you get better at them, you feel better about yourself. If you remove all struggles, then, like, <laughs> you never learn anything. Every, you, everything is too simple and, and easy and handed to you, and it just becomes this, uh, you know, simple game, and you never feel any accomplishment. So it's not inventory Tetris that's important. It's just the the whole anything that requires me to learn, to improve, to get better at. Yeah, kill the clone. Right. Have choices, make mistakes, all the good stuff.
Hopefully he's watching a nice Diablo 2 stream too, Derek. Bang songs, bang. Bang! Ow. Oh. Quarter staff. So that's the that's definitely the thing in life, you know. Do I wish that I was born, you know, with ten million dollars? Heck no. I would hate to have that. What a terrible life. And so many people are like, what? But then you wouldn't have to worry about money, right? Yeah, but then I would also never... <laughs> it would be so much harder to learn all the skills of earning stuff. <laughs> and that, to me, is worth more than money. All of the skills and everything that I've gained and developed have, have improved my life so much more than $10 million could improve my life. It's not even a more money, more problems scenario. It's just, you know, to have and not earn. Thank you, Greg. Take something away. Bam. Ming's song. We need at least one llama victory this week Bam. and llama gold. <laughs> yeah, look at rich people. Look at how screwed up they are. Look at the Jeffrey Epstein ring and all of that mess. And <laughs> it's very clear that people with that money does not bring a better life, even if it brings a better life. Dollars. How terrible! If someone wants to ruin my life, get in touch with me. <laughs> you know. I'd take a million bucks, so I mean, sure. At this point, I feel like, yeah, I've learned enough. I'll take a million bucks. And sure, it does, there is, money is a great tool. That's what it is. It is a great tool that can enable a lot of stuff, such as freedom to pursue and all sorts of things. But to be born with it, and never have to work for it and anything like that, I think can cause issues. And I think it makes it much more difficult for the person that is born with it to, um, you know, achieve those. It's not impossible, obviously, but it makes it a lot harder, in my opinion, to find, uh, you know, the value of a dollar earned and all of that 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 brings and be able to develop things like empathy and relate to people who don't have as much yada 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 you get a mang songs for 10 mil maybe so that's all it's just, it, it's not the solution to everything. Obviously, it's a tool. Obviously, it can do a lot and it can help a lot. And I'm all for improving, you know, everyone's lives and giving them a better starting point. By the way, voting for Super Tuesday is tomorrow. Just a heads up. Um, is Fade a musket skill? No, because it'll overwrite Burst of Speed. So you have to decide if you want Burst of Speed or Fade or both and when you want to use them. But, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I'm, I, I feel like I've been very blessed in my life to be in a spot where I still had, you know, I was given opportunities enough to get an education, enough to have food on the table, things like that, but still to the point where I had to go out and learn all of the skills to you know, uh, take my life to the next step and improve it and all that. Good day. Hey, Creamy. I am overburdened. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> By religion? Not really. I'm I'm pretty much just a nihilist. Positive nihilist. Thanks, Brayden. Your presence honors me. Nah, I'm not an atheist, and uh, no. I believe that we don't know, <laughs> and it would be foolish of us to believe that we even did and pretend like we did. It's, 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 religion is almost slightly egotistical to me. And I'm totally cool with people having religion. Like, I could care less. I, I think it does good. I think it also does bad, right? There's good and bad to it. Um, but I, I simply think the fact that we can even pretend like we can understand what is going on and boil it down to simple terms is, is silly, you know? We barely know what the heck is going on in our bodies or our brains or our universe, you know, like <laughs> There's we barely know how like pregnancy works, if any. <laughs> There's still so many undiscovered mysteries that we have no clue about. So, really, I'm just sorry, raggets. That's my bad. Like magnets. How do magnets work, right? But we do know how good itemization works. That's right. Do I believe people have true free will? Yeah, I like to think so. I think the idea of true free will is, that's why it's called faith, sure. I think the, once again, the biggest problem for me is that not so much that there's faith in something higher, but that there's faith in something higher that we have so much proven knowledge about, yet not proven, you know? That's the that's the biggest part for me that I disagree with. Like if I go up to, you know, and I'll use Catholicism because I grew up Catholic. If I go up to a Catholic, they can tell me every single thing that I should do and not do and where I'm going to go depending on that and all of God's forgiveness plans and all of that. They can tell me every single thing about it all and how it's portrayed as this exact truth that is for certain and that that Muslim over there is going to go to hell because he believes in that and all of this, right? They've got a full script of it. And once again, like, it's cool. Everybody's fair to believe in what they believe in. I just think, man, we that, that's a lot, you know? That's very different to me than just having faith that, like, there's a god and, and he has plans and we don't know what they are or something, you know? So when, when we start to get down to all the nitpicky rules and, and you know, what he would want and not want and all of that, of all of that that's where I just go, ah, I feel like we're, we're stretching now. I feel like at some point somebody saw a chance where they could abuse power and write in a rule that they wanted and took advantage of it. <laughs> because we've seen people in positions of power take advantage of power our entire lives. It's like the uh, one of the most common things of man. So. You know, so it's fine. What's DMT? Hash truth. So I think every religion and no religion is all right at the same time because I just don't think any of us know. 
And I think it's more complex and complicated and beyond anything that we can even wrap our heads around. And so, for me, I just say, you know what? I'm just going to live a good life and live the best life that I can. And that'll be good enough for me. So that's what I do. And if you want to believe your stuff, you believe your stuff. Do what you want. Yeah, and some people need to have that faith for them to feel like they can find meaning in life and things like that, and that's fine. Hey, BYD. You could always join the Church of Camel, where we know the one universal truth. <laughs> that pineapple does not belong on pizza. Unless it sounds good, then it's okay. Seems like a pretty reasonable. <laughs> I like how she presented your argument. Then it's okay. more apathy than uh, nihilism uh, I mean I don't think you have to believe life is meaningless to be nihilistic but I do understand the concept there of uh, you know you know I, uh, I, I just think we don't know It could have meaning, it could not have meaning. It doesn't matter to me, I guess. That's the biggest thing. Good day. Right, like, I don't think life is meaningless in a negative way. I think it's meaningless in a way that, like, makes me want to pursue it more. You know what would suck? Immortality. Because you know what immortality would bring? Laziness. If I never had to have an endpoint, if I never had any you know, something to push me, then, uh, you know, I wouldn't care ever. But now, life and an endpoint and all that gives purpose to it. Even if it's meaningless, it gives me the purpose and the point where I can sit down and say, I'm choosing to spend my life today as XYZ. And that's good enough for me. Or that's not, and I want to change it. But if I never had to care, then would I change things? Would I not? Eh, who knows? It's like the Paragon system, exactly. It sucks. <laughs> Very good comparison. Well then, slightly existentialist. Sure. Call it what you want. I don't care. I will live life to its fullest. Pro proceeds to play a 20 year old game. You know what? I am having the time of my life playing this game. I would not choose to be anywhere else right now. But that's why I always do believe it's important to analyze your life and if it's not the one that you want to have and you keep waking up over and over and doing the same thing, go change it. But Lama, you were just talking about striving to learn in life and if you were immortal, you could learn forever. I mean, that would be really cool. I gotta agree. Even if Taylor Swift invited me somewhere? Okay, if Taylor Swift invited me somewhere, I would be there. But, I also have to recognize that I can only control myself and my own behaviors and my own actions and own places and everything. And uh, I cannot control others. So... <laughs> For Taylor Swift and I to be somewhere right now, Taylor Swift would also have to agree to that and be a part of that situ scenario. 
and that's the part that I don't have. So I don't worry about it. Why worry about what I don't or can't have? And if I had to force her to be there, then it still seems eh, not that fun, so. Yeah, but if I have to control her with money, then it's not fun to me anyways either way there. I never want to be around someone who doesn't want to actually be around me or who only wants to be around me because I have money or because I force them to be there because of money or whatever it is. It's never a good life. She'll break up with me and write a song about it? That's what I want her to do, Camel. That's the whole point of hanging out with Taylor Swift. Isn't that why anybody dates Taylor Swift? So they can get a song written about them? Let me wrap them. Somehow some way I have two streaming goals that are my ultimate streaming goals the first one is to get the hundred thousand subscriber badge on YouTube the plaque that they send you and then send it to my ex-girlfriend and rub it in her face that's just that's a whole story we don't need to get into and the second one is to get big enough to somehow have uh, Taylor Swift be able to recognize me as a potential artist in some manner. You know, I don't I don't know if it's uh, you know uh, we get to the tweet out and we tweet out to her and she says hi or whatever it is. That want to be a little bit harder. Is it spiteful? Eh, maybe a little bit. It was my first girlfriend. First love. Those are my two streaming goals. I'm not holding a grudge. I just think it would be funny. And I can say, ha! I told you! In a funny way. Yeah, we just need a llama army to tweet Tay Tay in some manner. Or get invite, you know, be big enough to get invited to some party where she's the biggest person, I'm the smallest person there. It doesn't matter. Some manner of that happens. Hey, we all gotta have goals in life, you know? Uh, do I have a prime command? Oh, there you go. Good day. <laughs> you never learn Mang Song's lesson will be the breakup song. Oh, I would love it. But I better find Mang Song's lesson by then. Email Taylor Swift to invite her to Lamacon. That would be a good idea. Could be a lot of fun. I am There's Lamacon. It's in the works. The planning is is soon to start. Wish big enough to create your own RPG. True. Also want to create my own ARPG. One that's not profit based. Your presence honors me. Is there a llama casino? No. What? Profit based. Not profit based, I'm saying. Did 
Just back to good old making games, because games are cool. That's all. Developers work for free? Yeah, I'll just develop it. And then I'll find people who are willing to work for free. Or for a small amount of money, and I'll fund it with whatever other things. Maybe we'll do some, like, donation option where you can just support the game devs or something until they get paid. <laughs> I don't want to profit from it, but if I have to bring in art designers, things like that, then okay. I'll have to find a way to pay them, probably. We're seeing the feature in Baltica. You can show your shoes and books. I don't know what that means now. No! God, no. Explain it in a second. And a burr rune yesterday on Mephisto during an MVS. <sighs> First a beer rune, now this. You are on a real streak. Congrats, Mr. Llama. I found Burr on Helm of Pisto. It is the lowest possible enhanced damage. And it's a plus two. That is like almost as bad as it gets. 159? Oh my god, that is so bad. It's like one of the worst rolls ever. Good day. Everything is bottom or like the worst or below average. Astrions, another note in the Journal of Good Happenings. So, there are items in the game that are crazy rare, right? Where are my scepters at? Oh, right here. Oh, I'm out of space. Oh, no wonder. Oh, well. There are items in the game. Cocaine is a hell of a drug, you know. It's okay, Llama. You've released your anger <sighs> happens to all of us. Well, looks like you find every item rarer than Mang Song Kappa. Yeah. The rarest item in the game is Tyrael's Might. The second rarest item in the game is Astrain's Iron Ward, Death's Web, and Mang Song's Lesson. 
They're all side by side, basically. And now we have found three Deathwebs, two Astrians, and zero Mang Songs. And Future keeps finding all of the Mang Songs and can't find the Astrians. Oh, jeez. So we just found the equivalent of Mang Song's lesson. A gift for you. That's true, yeah. Thank you, Dollar Bills. We just found the equivalent of Mang Song's lesson. And it was item level 88, so. Ah. Uh. That hurts. That one hurts. That's one that I just never need to find, you know? Like, just give me the Mang Songs and let's call it good, man. That was the RNG I was waiting for. The same one in 110,000 drop. Just the wrong one. Oh, yeah. More like Mang Songs, let's not. <laughs> what a painful find that is. I'm not sure who that's more painful for. Me, who needs the Mang Songs and just keeps finding the others. Or future Real, who needs the Astrians. <laughs> and has to watch me find it in front of his face. <sighs> I've watched you find the uh, main songs, though. So. For a second time. Not only did you find it in front of his face, you were angry about it. In front of his face. Sorry. I apologize, Future Al. I am overburdened. Do I want ID yours? I just want to find my own and I do it. <laughs> I've got like 2,000 something hours in probably. What are you at, future? You're probably double that. You were saying how much enjoyment you get from the steep five, itemization yeah. peaks. Glasses played. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a grail. Not in a grail, though. <laughs> Dang, man. What a joke. 99,000 pin runs horking on a barb. Good lord. That's just terrible luck. Uh. Ubio just needs Tyrael's might still, right? And same with Geppetto, I think.
<laughs> Star level 98. Maybe like 10 pit runs a day. It's gonna be a long time to find it. <laughs> At those numbers. Ah, I mentioned Bagel Girl, that's fine, who cares? She was there when it happened, man. She brought some sort of luck. I can't believe that. We wasted our luck on an Astrians. Ugh. Just don't mention Scone Girl. Monka S. Ugh. Eighth Templars? Dang, that's awful. Yes. Bagel Girl did not. Okay, she did ID it, but she didn't find it. And the item on drop is when the RNG occurs, so. I found it. Even if she ID'd it. Not like I was like, hey, why don't you try a run once? And she was like, oh, what's this unique sacred armor? There is no skill in girl. It's correct. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> Hey man, I love a good scone, all right? I ain't gonna lie. Scones are delicious. Good day. Like, a good scone might be one of my favorite breakfast foods ever. So if I could find a girl that like made scones every morning, mm mm. What more do you need? Camel girl? That seems weird. That was baseball girl. I didn't trade her for a soccer game. My boss told me to come to the soccer game, and then she was like, hey, do you want to stay? But my boss asked me to go to his soccer game. What am I supposed to say, no to my boss? <laughs> yes, I would. All right, well. <laughs> At least we won the soccer game? No. My boss's team was not great, so we lost like 11 to 4. But, I did score all four goals, so I got to look good in front of my boss, which was good. And help him out from a complete and utter embarrassment. At least I did score that night, that's right. <laughs> and at the end of the game the other team came up and they were like hey if you ever want to play here's our number or maybe he said if you ever want to score here's my number now I don't remember what the guy said to me I either got invited to play soccer or to go on a date. I'm not sure. <laughs> Regardless, I got someone's number that night. We need 
the story about <laughs> Socor Man now. Well, I didn't, I didn't end up calling him because he was down in Tulsa and I was up in Bartlesville, and that was a whole distance, and that was a lot. There was this thing. So back in college, there actually is a Chipotle guy. So there was Chipotle guy. So back in college, I went to this local Chipotle nearby, and obviously I was a college student, so I ate there like six times a week, which I still kind of do, so it was pretty similar to how I am now. So anyways, I went to Chipotle a lot, and uh, this one dude started like, you know, he, he would be there, whatever, and he knew I was regular, and so, uh, you know, he'd start chatting with me, whatever. Oh, what are you up to? How's it going? Blah, blah, blah. And they started comping my meals here and there. And I was like, yo, this is dope. And I've had, like, managers comp my meals and stuff before because, you know, they see me around so often. They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. This one's on me. So he started comping my meals here and there, and I was like, yo, this is great. So I'd go to Chipotle, and I'd get a free meal, and it's fantastic, like two times a week my meal would be comped. And so I told my girlfriend at the time, I was like, yo, you got to come meet this guy. And he, he was like, yo, hey, because I was playing hockey as well. And he was like, hey, like, I'd like to come to one of your hockey games. Hockey sounds awesome. I was like, dope, dude. That sounds cool. So I was like hanging out with my girlfriend. And I was like, hey, you got to come meet Chipotle guy. He's like the cool friend of mine. Comps on meals all the time. Wants to come play hockey, all sorts of stuff. And she's like, all right, sure, whatever. So we go in and, uh, you know, we go say hi and whatever stuff. And he doesn't comp the meal that time, unfortunately. He's like, oh, hey, how's it going? And I was like, hey, we're going to go to my hockey game here soon if you want to come. And he was like, oh, uh, never mind. I'm, uh, you know, I, I can't go. I was like, oh, dang, okay, never mind then. Because we're on my way to my hockey games. We're getting Chipotle prior. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure many of you are seeing where this is going. And so we leave the Chipotle, and I'm like, so what do you think? Cool guy, right? And she goes, Alex, he is extremely gay. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, he's just my friend. And she was like, Alex, he waxes his eyebrows. <laughs> He was hitting on you. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, <laughs> Alex. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm certain. And, uh, yeah. And that kind of sucked. Because he never cut my meal again after I brought my girlfriend in. So I think she might have been onto something. I thought I just made a cool Chipotle friend and was getting great discounts. <laughs> and I was gonna invite my friend to come to my hockey game. <clears throat> so. Good day. I don't know. I wanted to make friends, you know? I thought, wow, it is so hard for a middle-aged, middle-twenties-aged male to make friends nowadays. I'm so happy I found Chipotle guy. But we were in it for different reasons, apparently. And that is not the first time I have been hit on by a gay man either. In fact, that is one of many times. All of which I surprisingly have never caught on to until somebody else. Oh, dang. Oh my god, look at that helm. Almost. It is two to elemental, but 40 to life, 15 fire res. I know it's F. It's sick though, still. <laughs> so, apparently I do something in the gay community 
That does not have an effect on women. figure out how to make those skills transfer over. Maybe constantly, t no, I'm talking about pounding dudes in Diablo 2, camel. Gay people can pick up on context clues, they're not stupid, camel, jeez. Bigot. I, I do put off that vibe. That's fair. I feel like in my bio I need to list heterosexual. I feel like it's an important clarification to make. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. But I just feel like many people <laughs> somehow get the wrong idea. And then it leads to broken hearts and Mr. Llama getting not free Chipotle anymore. <laughs> Which is just a terrible situation for everyone all around. I just want a friendly guy at Chipotle who is going to make me a Chipotle burrito and then comp it for me because he thinks, hey, Llama's a nice guy. And he looks like he needs a good burrito in his mouth. You know? No free Chipotle sounds like there's broken hearts on both sides. Uh, yeah, exactly. There was broken hearts on both sides. Exactly. Help me. Do you feel as a streamer you get asked by men over and over again? <laughs> Whatever it is, yes. Wow. Now, Greg, I must warn you. I am a heterosexual male. Here's some free Chipotle. I no hope that attached. does not affect the burrito. <laughs> Giving right there. I've been hurt in the past. <laughs> And I can't go down that road again. <laughs> it is Nader. If you just go up to the notification icon, it'll say who did. <laughs> also, thank you, SNTG. And we're Munchu. You just go to that little bell right there, and then it'll give you the highlight. And if you're on YouTube, make sure to ring that bell. Something. I watch Curb Your Enthusiasm and I go, yeah, it's a man living his life. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Because I feel that every day. Larry David is misunderstood. I'm misunderstood. It's just how it, how life goes. Just don't go to Chipotle and ring that bell. If it means a free burrito at Chipotle, I will ring whatever bell I need to in that Chipotle. That's all I can say. You just point me to it. And I will ring a ling a ding dong that puppy. I can't carry anymore. 
a gift for you. Not enough mark. Thank you, Halle Sionis. Free burrito with the side of E. coli. That was once. Twice. That was two times. Come on, Mr. Camel. Let he who hath not given E. coli to his customers throw thy first burrito into my mouth. Hello, Talon's Armor. We are simply having a nice chat about Llama getting free burritos. That is all. <laughs> Nine ten. Shawarma is delicious. But there's not a shawarma place nearby me, and there's not like a good chain shawarma place that I know of. If there was like Chipotle, but a shawarma place somehow, Chishwarma, I would be there quite often. You can put beef in there, you can put goat in it, you can put chicken. Heck, I don't kind care what meat you shove in there. Rip. It's all good. You've never had Chipotle PB Gold? Oh my god. That would be a lovely, lovely amulet. <laughs> Look at that, level 27 required too. That would be a fantastic amulet for a uh, speed run. Res, strength, res, or skills. Do I live in Washington? No, you are thinking of camel. I know our names are similar. Cryptic sword. Eth? Aww. Frostwind is still nice. You're thinking of Mr. Similar Name SC. That's right. <laughs> it appears has gone for a smoke break. I love the look of it. Like, Frostwind just looks so cool. The blue blade. Oh, I love it. Well, you're in Australia. So, I don't even know what you guys have over there. What do you eat? Spider? Loving the stream. I don't watch often anymore cause of school, but when I do, it's always fun. Thank you, Gandalf. Eat some roux for dinner. Koala, exactly. Thank you for the eight months. Another one. Also, doesn't every koala practically have chlamydia anyways? So, probably not a good thing to eat. Though I'm not sure if you can cook out chlamydia. Thank you, Jacob. Another one. 
You just cut around it? Oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't ever butchered anyone with chlamydia before. Herpes, but... It is an STI. Sometimes you just gotta cut around it. Your presence honors me. What is that? <laughs> you know you like it. You would go to that stream for 10 seconds and go, ah, this is boring. Let's get back to the game. Well, we were talking about koalas and how we deal with that. Well, they're chlamydia. And then, of course, that led to herpes. Have you seen the Final Fantasy VII demo? I have not. Have I had a herpes girl? I hope not. I mean, probably, because, like, everybody has herpes almost. Type A, though, or whatever. Type what at one. Type mouth. Whatever it's called. Your presence honors me. So. Yeah, you know, the mouth kind. If you ever had a cold sore, you got the herpes. Woot! Ow! No! God, get out of there. Thank you, penguin. Surprisingly, they did, like, no damage to me. I don't think they actually were hitting me. I think they'd all attack my mercenary. Welcome back, three months. Never had a cold sore? Well then, you're safe. Just don't ever date any male, or kiss any male. Because there's a good chance, probably a, wow, is that two blue monarchs? Holy cow, two blue monarch shields. One of them has to be Jmod, right? Ah! It's a mob. <gasps> it's a mod. Ah! Gosh darn it. Ah, <sighs> so close. We found B mod. We found a mob and a mod. Oh man, that's crazy. I can't carry anymore. That's crazy, my dudes. Good day. Stay a while and listen. It's all about the J Mao. Yeah. J-Mod's just classic. Ha! 
<laughs> well, it's bedtime soon, so. You'll eventually be released. Is that shield important? Jeweler's Monarch of Deflecting is just a classic, amazing shield. Simple as that. Super rare, super good. One of the best blue items in the game. Where can I take you? It really is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Not bad. It really is crazy, huh? Phase blade. My goodness, what are these drops tonight? Which one do you think it is, chat? Nice. Azurath or lightsaber? I haven't found Azrath in a, a few phase blades, so we're due for one. Shabbat Oh, okay, fine. It was a 191% though, so that's not bad. Would you ever put the plug to use for MVS on GitHub? I don't use any plugins. Oh, MVS? Those aren't plugins, those are custom software and all sorts of stuff. And probably not, that is proprietary software. Unless Evo wants to share it out, and then, well, it's his choice ultimately. <laughs> Not made by me. Correct. Lancer's gloves of alacrity. <laughs> so good, though. Yes. Unless Evo has a large change of heart, that stuff is going to, to remain for this stream. Makes it more special that way anyways. I mean, man for stream isn't just about the software. There's a million other pieces to it. And it's all those pieces coming together to make it what it is. Hey, Mariano. Just another day. <laughs> Can't Q-Bug Meph and Solo? Correct. We talked about burritos. That's right. Mm. I was about to say I want a burrito, but I just ate a burrito. I just never get sick of them.
The nice thing is they don't have any like added sugars or anything there either, so. It's calories, but if you're working out and things like that. Not bad. Actually, pretty good magic find on this. Up to 25. Yeah, that would probably be, probably be good, Mr. Campbell. Anything you would change on MVS next time? I'm going to add a couple more options to the um, wheel, the game wheel. <laughs> yeah, I added your uh, burrito bowl today, to be specific. New cursors? Thank you, Dove and Death. I mean, maybe I'll list some of the other cursors as well, but I'm gonna add like no mini map and one other game wheel. Um, I think I'll do it like that. Got a speed run dinner. You know how it goes. Would you ever add an option in MVS where you have to do every quest in an act? We've had that option before. We also had one where I had to do a second character. And so I would play through the game and then I'd have to jump onto another character and complete the next quest. So we've had plenty of things like that. How about collapsing all cursors into a random cursor? That's actually probably a good idea, but I don't have any way to choose the random cursor without specifically just randomly clicking it myself. We actually had a cursor wheel. The cursor wheel got removed. I've done it 200% before. Speedrun and stuff. Um, it just got removed because we had to consolidate things down, you know. But yeah, one season had a cursor wheel on it. Wow, like three things or something. Missing the combo of clapping and mini mitt. We had clapping and mini mitt this last man versus stream, actually. Those two things rolled. Buzzwords and psychedelic. Crazy. When was it? I don't know. Sometime during it all. There was a lot that happened this last member stream. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember the times of many pieces of it. How long have I been doing MVS and what's the worst thing I add? Uh, Kurt, uh, pixels. Pixels 100%. Pixels was the worst thing I ever added. I am overburdened. I'm gonna give you a sense of pixels. Let me see if I can bring it up and make it happen right now, or if it's not gonna capture. It might not capture because my OBS isn't in admin mode, but let me see if I can make it happen. Software. It was fun for one, one MVS, and that was it. Um, 
Okay. Okay. And now, let's see if pixels will work. Ah. That didn't work. Um, add Yeah, I think it has to be in admin mode. Okay, well, you can't see it. Best we can do is go to the YouTube VOD pixel man verse stream. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> This is what it looked like. Hold on. This is so, it's so bad, you guys. Like, it's actually atrocious. How bad it is. Ready? God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't need to watch any of that. All right, let's get away from that stuff. Thank you, Doc. Hey, Brian. How you doing? Yeah, this is the dimmed brightness. That's right. We dimmed it down because it was so awful to see. So let me let me go back really fast and find the video before we dimmed it. No. I can't tell you anymore. Our hero three doesn't get much better than that. Two and three. Where did we dim it at? <laughs> Here we go. This was this was full brightness of the pixels. Oh god. Why is there so many dim visions going on here? <laughs> it's so bad, you guys. It was just like the worst idea. I reduced the um oh, okay. defend Kylie stack over whatever. Immortal. Yeah, defend Kylie. Will, it doesn't stack over it. It'll just happen first in queue. I made them fifty percent transparent. The heavy transparency. Not, exactly. Thank you. Or opacity. Yeah. So we can see. But, compare that to this. See, so now so it's nice. a lot. So I still saw the full, the full pixels, but this is what chat saw. Where can you post fan arts? In my the Discord orbit. is best place. Regardless, it was absolutely a terrible idea. It also like required me to run two instances of Evo software because it needed to be always going and there was like a bunch of conflicting stuff. And then it crashed multiple times. And so I had to keep like restarting both of them and then resetting every, it was just a whole nightmare. Like Manver Stream already has enough stuff to deal with, you know? 
I need to also deal with all the technical issues of it, so. It lasted one member stream and then was gone. But, you know, it was fun while it was there, I suppose. The one time you showed off something that reduced FPS, did you ever end up using that? No, it was so terrible. So Evo created a thing that reduced the FPS of the game. So first it went to, it was at 25, and then it went to 20, and then to 15, and then to 10, and then to 5 FPS, and maybe even lower at the end. Maybe like 2 FPS or something by the end of the punishment. And it was absolutely just, first off, terrible to watch. But then also so horrific to play at 2 FPS. I don't have a red or anything, Derek. Like I say, my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, is going to be the best place. You can also tweet them at me if you would like. <laughs> Quarter. <laughs> no, that was the only one that was like that. <laughs> Anything else only lasted one stream? Um, well, another thing that didn't make it to production was Evo's delay. So he also created a thing where it had a delay. And so if I clicked, like, to move here, it wouldn't move for, like, two seconds. Yeah, it was called lag. And so everything had, like, a two-second lag. Literally impossible to play. It was, it was actually just physically impossible to play. I could barely get through normal, like, Act 1. Just like the Bloodmore. <laughs> it was so hard. So that one never made it to production. Um, Drunken Sailor only lasted about three runs before we had that retired. So the original Drunken Sailor swayed so much. We got to Ancients, but not really. We basically lost at Act 4. Okay, like hell, just starting basically. I made it through the cast and stuff, but whatever. It did 360s, all sorts of stuff. Not only was it so hard to play with, but it actually made me sick to look at. <laughs> so I physically could just, I, 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 I get like dizzy anyways with a lot of video games and stuff. So I'm not great at that anyways. And that one, I could not look at it. I know, right, Camel? Everybody's just like, oh, give it to Camel. Yesterday they just kept giving it to Evo. You're gonna love my nuts. Slap Chop is one of the best inventions. It's so hard, but it's like really, cl I mean, it's just well done. Doesn't teleport make me sick? No. Some people do get sick with a teleport. Like all the like flashes of the screen kinda and whatever as they teleport. I never, I never get sick from that. Certain things, only certain things do. Let's see, what else? The first dim vision was $6.66. I didn't realize it had jump scares. I thought it just got dark and had scary music. I didn't also realize there was like children talking and creepy songs and all of the horrible things. Cause I didn't actually do a full play test of it. I just turned it on for like 30 seconds and so like, sure. And then Camel bought 20 of them or something. And then we bumped the price up. <laughs> Cause we realized, nah, this ain't gonna happen. We ain't doing this for the rest of my MBS life. So, y'all can blame Camel for that. 
It was two for one, so I think I bought ten. <laughs> <laughs> the door knocking is horrifying. I am Dim Vision has gone through like nine different iterations. Which is why the current one says Dimmer -er -er Vision or whatever. Because it was Dim Vision, then Dimmer Vision, then Dimmest Vision, then Dimmest -er Vision, then Dimmer -er Vision, then Dimmer -er Vision. Whatever. Oh, yeah, that one. I wonder if I have flesh render. I probably do. Yep. I only need Nord's tenderizer. Trash. I name it Tim Vision version 5.0. Evo names it. It was a terrible hour. A whole hour of dim vision. That also happened, I think, one time when Sky High came in the channel. And he did a thousand dollar donation. Which is the second highest donation I've ever received. Right behind Sky High's thousand dollar and one cent donation. <laughs> And uh, he came in and he did that. And he said, I'll have 15 dim visions or whatever it was. I can't carry whatever that added up to. <laughs> and so we had like an hour and a half of dim vision. <laughs> and for about halfway through, I was like, it's not worth it. <laughs> I just refund it. <laughs> Where is Sky? I don't know. He got a girlfriend. And then, uh, you know, when people get girlfriends. So I, I feel like last time he came in, it was a few months ago, and he said that they'd broken up or something. This guy was here, like, uh, for a short period of time. You know, he was here for, like, a few months. Ooh. Sexy. I can't carry anything. He was here for a, a few months, and then, uh, then I was out. <laughs> can I take you? Does his girlfriend have her ring yet? I, I don't know. Like I said, it's been, a f it's been many months since I last saw this guy. I should get out more then. <laughs> yeah. You saw him in Senpai's? Oh, nice. Well, then he is somewhere around still. That's cool. I'm glad to hear. That. Glad to hear that he's hanging around the community still. <laughs> Dim vision had better never go away. It should, in my opinion. Good day. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not sure half of you guys aren't just camel, anyways. To be honest, one of camel's bots. Nice. Dude, these drops are sick today. Like, my gosh, look at that list of drops, you guys. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have a ton of like TC-87s or anything on it, but from like useful things, Fantastic. I'm just here for the free Chipotle. Hey man. Just point where it is, I'll show up. <clears throat> hmm. 
We found an F. We found a Haas. We found a nice small charm. We found that awesome GC. We found Tal's armor. We found a B mod, almost. We found an Astrians. That's crazy. You bought Cheerios for the Doomsday Virus? I got you. I got you. And a Jeeds as well. Maybe it's perfect. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Wow, that is so bad. I told you guys, my friend has a, she has like a YouTube makeup channel, and I was, we were comparing YouTube stats, <laughs> and she had 97% female viewers, and I had 98% male viewers, so I won. I won King of the Lonely, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> a makeup channel yeah and this is a Diablo 2 channel it makes sense it's just funny king of the sexes there you go how many non-binary I don't know I don't think YouTube gives those stats We do have D2 women. There's not many of them, but they do exist. All four of them. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We don't need to sit here and call out all of the women in the chat. It's probably not not a great way to encourage more women to show up in the chat. <laughs> Look! There's one! <laughs> <laughs> How much do you respect women? <laughs> oh man, I respect him so much. He did to me. <laughs> Are they single though? Single and not into you, Black Gaver. Ouch. Exactly. We're not going to harass. You can be a, a man or a woman. I don't care. Do whatever you want. If you're here and having a good time and being respectful, works for me. I do respect the sorceress. Three times, in fact, during a hell speed run. I respect her. As long as you'll serve me a burrito, we're all good. <laughs> if you comp it, we're even better. Was Makeup Girl Math Girl? No, Math Girl was Math Girl. Is Andy's visage rare? I mean, yeah, somewhat. It's definitely Meanwhile, not common. The streamer is harassing every ladies with his cheesy pickup lines and bumping into M. 
Math Girl is a friend of mine who I used to date. And when I went to my friend's wedding, I got to see her and her fiance, who are both doctors of math. <laughs> And, uh, I tried to have them explain to me what they were working on. And eventually I gave up and just said, okay, they're saving the universe. And they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I left my job and I, I play video games. So... <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, cool. <laughs> and Math Girl was like, I didn't quit my job. I went part time at my job. <laughs> yeah, they were like trying to figure out the curvature of our universe and. She's getting into a lot of like bio medical stuff and using math to cure cancer and whatever. I was like, well, I beat a lot of, I, I pound a lot of dudes every day. I had to say something to impress her. So, I don't know. <laughs> Found a nude's full time resetting routers part time. <laughs> Saving the world. So, she doesn't know what she lost out on. I would use my math skills for something productive, but that would decrease how many exalts I drop in a loop. <laughs> Trust me, I calculated it. No. <laughs> I feel that, Camel. I can't carry anymore. When was the last time that I got hit on? Hmm. probably been a little bit. I mean, I haven't really gone out and met people, you know, because I was in a relationship, so I was trying to avoid all of that. <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm sure there is some story that something happened. <laughs> Oh, it's all fine. That's life. I am overburdened. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well, you have to remember, I sit inside and play video games all day, and I work from home all day, so, like... I also don't go out very often, <laughs> as of late. When I worked in the office, I had more more chance of it, you know. Why is that chat? That's true. I'm also very oblivious, so I, there's probably been instances, and I just had no chance. Yes. I just never even saw it. When was the last time chat hit on you? There we go. That's the more appropriate question. Probably today. Well, oh wait, no, it just happened. Yeah, that's right, my friend told me. So I was at that wedding, right? 
And, uh... There was some chick there. Girls may not be hitting on you, mm -hmm. but they could hit you low in my experience. I don't know why. Me. I seem to have better chance with older ladies. Zero clue why also not even trying to hit on them. Maybe you're giving six them a sign. Subbed means six more years until Mang Song's lesson. Wow. Heck no. I hope that's not true. <sighs> Thank you, Black Aver. Thank you, John. So yeah, so I'm I'm at the wedding and I'm dancing up a storm, you know. Hey, hey, right? And the nice thing is, as my friend said, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And I think that goes pretty well for my dancing. I am not a good dancer, but when you put me in a room full of very white people, suddenly they think I'm a good dancer. I am overburdened. <laughs> so it's fantastic. So anyways, <clears throat> the brown eyed man, what? I was just dancing up a storm, you know, having the time of my life because I like to dance at weddings. I mean, that's the whole point, right? You go to a wedding and you dance. And everybody was taken, but there was supposedly two single girls at the wedding. One of which left before the dinner, which is weird. I've never had somebody go to a wedding for the ceremony and leave before the reception. It's a strange, seems backwards. Like, I'd rather skip the first part. Right, but whatever. Anyways. So then there was one, one left. So, you know, I wasn't really do anything. I was just minding my own business. Because that's why I was there. I was there to support my friends and have fun and dance. Mind my own business. And then the wedding ended and then everybody went out for drinks afterwards. And so we just sat there and I was just chatting up these two, you know, married women, but they were fun. Their husbands were there. Don't worry. We were just having a good time. But the single chick We'll call her... I don't know what to call her. Uh, it's really not a great name for her because there's very little interaction. The girl. Last pick chick, sure. Only girl. So only girl is sitting across the table. But I'm talking with the two married chicks, because they're have you know they're more sociable and stuff, and we're having a great time. And then, at the end of the night, only girl gets up, and they're all like going home or whatever, and leans over and grabs my arm, you know, in that like whatever sort of touch way. And she goes, "Ah oh, man, I wish we could have gotten to chat more." I didn't realize you were a fellow Texan. And I was like, oh, yeah, that sucks. And then she left. So. <laughs> so that was, that was the last time that I I don't even know if I'd call that being hit on, but the last time a single girl said something to me. Really. If you call that hitting on, then yes, that, that scene. My friend was like, yeah, it was. I still don't. I'm not sure it is. You keep forgetting I'm Texan? Yeah. Do I own any super Texan things? No. You were dancing. I have cowboy boots. I understand why the ladies are avoiding you, Kappa. What? Hey, now. Misconnections post on Craigslist. You're supposed to say, me too, what's your number? No, I did not say that. I went, ah, dang, that sucks. <laughs> 
I said something like, oh cool, Texas. Dang, oh well. <laughs> so, I don't know, it was something along those lines. You know, what, somebody says I'm from Texas. You go, hey, cool. Where can I take you? You move to Colorado and use Yaldav and Blue Mines. It makes sense. Yal makes tons of sense. And Yaldav makes even more sense. We all freeze up for most of us. It's middle school. I didn't freeze up. I was just busy talking to married girls. And, uh... Yeah. Oh sure, because every normal girls with normal intentions would grab your arm and say, "Oh darn, we didn't have time to chat." Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah. Should have said, "There's still time," or "Let's get dinner sometime." <laughs> Those are actually pretty good lines. I wasn't hitting on them. We were just having a fun talk about country music. I was engaged in the conversation. Sue me. You know. I just figured she could have talked to me at any point during the drinks hour if she wanted to. Is it because the married women were younger than this? Get out of here. I had a kid ask me at a bar what the best pickup line is. Timid girl, there I we go. I told him, try saying hi and then talking to her like a normal person. He said that was stupid, so yeah. I said, okay, try. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself walking up the courtroom steps when you issue me a restraining order. Poor guy, I bet he's never had a date since. Seconds, everybody drink. <laughs> Oof. Wait, what did Ragged say? Do you know how long it builds up the energy to talk to someone like that? The married girls were talking to me just fine. So... She had a chance. She just talk to me, you know? I'm not saying it's her fault. It's nobody's fault. It was clearly a misunderstanding. She must have thought I was from somewhere else first, and so she didn't want to talk to me. And then she found out I was from Texas, and so she thought, oh, it'd be nice to chat, because we have Texas in common. And then it just was too late. That is all. Good day. <laughs> you know, let me justify things in my own mind how I want to sometimes. What state do you live in? I think it starts with a D. Mm, no, I'm not from Delaware. I'm from Texas. Thank you. D2? I do live in Diablo 2. That's fair. That's a good point. Oh, stated. Oh, she was making a joke. I thought you actually forgot where I lived. I'll be trying Wilson. 
I don't think so. Not right now, at least. I want to see where the game gets to in a few months first. People keep talking about the Grim Dawn mod. I feel like I'll need to go play it just to give it a shot. What are my thoughts on that one Spongebob episode about Texas? Ah, awful. No class. <laughs> I don't know, Sea Shark. <laughs> that is the exact story verbatim. <laughs> Do I like Grim Dawn? Yeah, I actually did have a lot of fun with it when I played. I didn't play it a ton, though. But I did enjoy it when I did play it. Am I 100% going to BlizzCon this year for Diablo demo? Um, I don't have any official invite from Blizzard yet. However, I expect that to be a thing. So, I would expect myself to be at BlizzCon this year. I don't need an official invite, but I'm guessing it'll be the same like last year where they like sponsor me to come out and stuff. But maybe not. If there's no Diablo stuff to happen, then they wouldn't, so. Even with coronavirus, BlizzCon's not till like November. Corona's gonna have already killed all of us before then, so. Join my army of the dead. I'm planning on going to BlizzCon this year. It was super nice for Dairy Queen to invite me, Kappa. <laughs> yeah, me, I would happily go to that. I think they're supposed to release Diablo Immortal this year. So. At least in certain countries or something. The other influencer is gonna get together and discuss the deeper updates. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure we'll do plenty more stuff when they give us more to discuss. You know, that last section was pretty limited in what they gave us, so. Llama Khan needs Dairy Queen, <laughs> Dairy Queen for riding blizzards. I mean, you're gonna show up, right? So maybe that's just we send Camel on a DQ run every every 12 hours or something. You can just make sure that we're always stocked. Sponsored by Deku and Chipotle. Bruh, you can bet your butt we're gonna get one of those Chipotle lines where they just bring mass plates of Chipotle. Make your own burritos and stuff. <coughs> Lamacon should definitely have that. A month is I thinking? Well, while Corona is going around, no month. So I would definitely plan it for end of 2020, late 2020. <coughs> Where can I take you? You'll use DoorDash. <laughs> no law mistakes. Get out of here. So 
many diadems dropping today. All blue. I'll have a big party once we find it. Simple as that. What, Bernie? No. Oh my god. It's awful. Custom Llamacon 2020 tees? Oh, that'd be good. Good day. All right, last run. I gotta go to bed. Me too, Camel. IT people will be the only ones left alive <laughs> as we never leave. The nerds will finally take over. Sorry, dragon. <laughs> Lama Khan will might have to be a Skype call. <laughs> hey, it's teams now, okay? Now everything is teams. No, it's Microsoft Teams. Is Microsoft bought Skype and they have their Teams chat app and now they're like trying to wind down Skype and push everybody over to Teams. Is your work not doing that? Just leave it as a link. <laughs> Yeah, not teens. Well, I do have to make sense. Talk about the existence of life again, probably. You calling to meetings on a cell phone? Oh, you're one of those guys. You really? I I swear I work with you. <laughs> All you server guys are the exact same. <laughs> like, yeah, I've, I've talked to you many times at work. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, he's got too much going on. I know that he's got it where he can pull it to the side and stuff. I don't care for all that. The details are nice.